Welcome to Notorious Crafts. In this video, I will show you how you can make these miniature flowers using paper and a star hole punch. These are also really quick and easy to make. And here are all the supplies that you will need. For the stems of the flowers, I have this green floral wire. The wire is wrapped in like this green paper and it's gonna make the perfect stem. I have this star hole punch that I'm going to use to make the petals of the flowers with punching out small pieces of paper with it. I also have this large colorful paper pack with many different colors of flowers. I'm going to use this tool to punch a really small hole in the middle of the paper and then I'm going to use some UV resin and resin dye for the very middle of my flower. I also have wire cutters to trim the stem and some glue. I also have links to some of the supplies down below in the description. I couldn't find the exact ones, but I found some similar ones. I have a variety of colors that I can use, but for these flowers, I'm going to use pink and purple pa paper. And I'm just going to punch out a bunch of these little stars. I'm going to use about three stars per flower. You could use more per flower, just depending on how full you want the petals to look. And now I'm moving on to the purple paper. You can make them in as many colors as you want, but just for my bouquet today, I just want two different colors. Next, I'm using my pliers to trim the stems to be a little bit shorter. Now I'm gonna poke a hole in the middle of every single one of the stars, and then that way I'll be able to easily put my stem through it. I have two silicone mixing cups, and I'm gonna put some of my resin inside each of the mixing cups. And then I'm gonna use my resin dye. I'm gonna use a red color as well as a yellow one. Now that all of my resin is mixed, I'm just grabbing one of my stems and I'm just going to dip the tip into the resin until I get a nice little ball. And then I'm going to put it underneath a UV light to harden. It also helps to spin around the stem and let gravity do its work to even out the resin before curing it so that it is even on all sides. Having the resin as the middle of my flower creates a nice clean look and is a great way to hide the wire. And now I'm ready to start gluing my flower petals together. And now I'm just gonna put the stem through the very middle of the star where I had punctured a hole through it and then put the star all the way very up to where the hardened resin is. Using a toothpick, I'm just dabbing a little bit of glue around the stem and on the piece of paper. And then I'm gonna place another one of the stars through the middle. And I wanna make sure that the star points are in between the other ones so that it looks like flower petals. I'm just gonna add a little bit more glue to the very back of that star, and then I'm gonna add just one more star so that my flower looks like it is full of a lot of petals. And then I'm gonna continue with the same process for the rest of the stems to make a lot more flowers. And here's how my flower bouquet turned out. I really like the resin as the very middle of the flower. I think it adds a really nice touch and is a great way to keep the pieces of paper from falling off. Using paper and a hole punch is a really great way to make some flower petals in miniature form. Let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.